What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming. Here we're going to talk about the top 5 weapons to use in the Crucible that are legendary. I'll be making exotic version of this video. I'll also be making special weapon version of this video and I'll also just throw in a heavy ammo or heavy weapon version of this video as well. So if you guys want to see more future videos or top fives, anything pretty much, make sure you guys smack that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. It helps more than you guys know. And please, please, please just check out everything in the description below for how to connect fully with us. Now let's get into this video. I'm going to tell you guys one thing before I start. I do not have a couple of the weapons I'm going to be talking about. I just wasn't lucky enough to get it. Don't hate me for it. There's many people that I know that have it and I've played it on my brother's account, on other people's accounts. I have played the weapons and I'm going to tell you guys about it. Most likely you guys have the weapons already and you know how good they are. But I'm going to tell you guys not only the weapons but also the perks that are really, really good on the weapons. So I'm going to start off with the pulse rifle. Alright, I'm telling you right now, I think this is the best pulse rifle in the game. It's called the Blind Perdition. You get this pulse rifle from playing Trials of Osiris. You get the Adept version from the Lighthouse Chest and it's a random drop. But the good thing is it always comes with stock perks. Now these perks, in my opinion, are some of the best that you can get on any weapon. It comes with Counterbalance, has Outlaw as well, but Counterbalance is better, trust me. It comes with high caliber rounds these make your opponent's life a living hell their cursor and their aimer will be going all over the place once you're hitting them with your bullets then it comes with hand laid stock once again it helps with the stability and then it comes with smooth ballistics this is how i run it and many other people run this weapon like this as well so keep that in mind it's just my opinion so far guys pretty much everything in this video is going to be my opinion but i really hope it helps you guys out now while we're on the topic of pulse rifles i'm going to talk about two other ones okay the grasp of malik and the hawksaw we like to call it the hacksaw both of these once again are really really good weapons but you want to make sure you have god rolls on them just like the perks i talked about in the blind perdition you want to see if these two can have those perks as well and they can you just have to get lucky and get that to drop and the last one I believe it's the second best pulse rifle in the game is the Clever Dragon Pulse Rifle. It gets dropped in the Iron Banner or the old Iron Banner which just passed recently. Um, hopefully it comes back in the future and I can get one. The rate of fire on that is very very similar to the Grasp of Malik. Same thing with the impact. The reason why I like the Blind Perdition a little bit more is because of the little bit higher impact that it comes with and trust me my friends that snapshot hidden perk with the depth really really works. So all weapons at the lighthouse that have a depth they have that hidden snapshot perk. Now let's move on to hand cannons. Hand cannons have been a really, really, really key piece when it comes to the Crucible. Two of the hand cannons that are the most popular in the quote unquote sweat community or the professional community would be the Isoluna and the Palindrome. Now the Palindrome you can get simply by going to the Crucible vendor and going and buying it from him. It comes with great perks. It also comes with Range Finder, which is a fantastic perk to have on a hand cannon because you guys know the drop off in damage is pretty, pretty high. Now, let's keep in mind what perks we want to see on weapons like the Palindrome and Isoluna. This Palindrome that I got was actually a really lucky drop. It actually comes with Outlaw and it comes with Reactive Reload. Now, reactive reload is every time I get a kill and if I reload my weapon, I get extra bonus damage for a very short period of time, which really helps if I'm in multiple gunfights. So I'll get a kill. If it's a precision kill, outlaw will kick in and I'll have a super fast reload. Pair that with fast reloading gauntlets. You have a lightning fast reload. Then you get a two headshot kill with the reactive reload perk and with rifled barrel, it extends that range really, really high. The base perk of stability on this is pretty good. It comes with steady hand, fast draw, and quick draw sight. The reason why I have steady hand is because I don't want to reduce that stability any more than it already is, but that's a really, really good roll on a palindrome or a hand cannon in general. Let's talk about some other perks that you would like to have on the hand cannon. You want to see if you could get, um, like I said, uh, rifle barrel, reactive reload, out outlaw, those are all good. 
Icarus is a great perk. If you guys don't know what Icarus is, Icarus is if you're jumping in air or you're in midair, you have bonus accuracy or you have better accuracy while in midair, which really helps with weapons like the hand cannon, especially if you're in a class like the Titan or Hunter as well. So then you want to go into Luck in the Chamber. Luck in the Chamber is a great perk to have on a hand cannon. As you guys know, the Hawk Moon has that perk and you can two shot people if you get Luck in the Chamber to proc, right? And then you just want to make sure overall that the range and stability of the weapon is as high as it can possibly be. It really, really does help a lot. Now let's move on to the auto rifle. Everybody freaking hates the auto rifle. These things melt people, all right? I still think one of the best auto rifles to use in the game would be the Doctrine of Passing. Guys, just look at this beast of an auto rifle. It comes with counterbalance, brace frame, persistence. It's pretty much all the stability perks paired with the fact that it has such a fast rate of fire. You just melt your opponent in a matter of what? One second, two seconds. The kill time is crazy. It comes with these per, uh, these sights as well, but this isn't a stock drop. They do have a little bit different dr uh, drops and like the perks that they come with. So you want to make sure you get the right perks when it comes to that. Um, they have the unbent tree, which is the iron banner. Uh, auto rifle it's not bad you could use it if you don't have any other auto rifle um i still recommend using a pulse rifle or hand cannon but the skill gap between the two is a little bit more than the auto rifle the auto rifle is definitely easier to easier to use the hardest thing to use would be the hand cannon and i believe the second hardest would probably be the pulse rifle or the scout rifle now speaking of scout rifles let's talk about the scout rifle that i don't have for some reason i thought i had it but i don't it's called the distant star it drops in the iron banner guys it is an amazing amazing scout rifle it's crazy it does 57 a headshot it is an easy four headshot kill it shoots really fast it comes with some great perks if you get the right rolls with high stability really does help a lot so i just want you guys to know that if you guys got that and if it's stored in the vault somewhere take it out and test it out it's really really good i definitely the best legendary scout rifle and it really compares to the Mita multi-tool which is an exotic which i'll talk about in a later video when i talk about the best exotic weapons to use but as far as that goes that is my in my opinion the five weapons that you should be using in the crucible to get better pick a weapon you like in whatever class it is whether it's the pulse the auto rifle you know the scout rifle whatever it is go pick it pick it up go into you know what's it called patrol if you want and start shooting enemies and practicing that way then take your talents to the crucible kick some butt in the crucible and then take your damn talents to the lighthouse and just go get there using those weapons but once again guys thank you guys so much for watching this video sorry if this video carried on a little bit long i really hope it helped you guys out if you guys want to stay connected with us please do follow us on twitter and twitch everything you need to know is in the description below and uh, i'll see you in the next video guys peace out